The 20s are that time where you grow and you figure that out. So if you are confused and you're lost right now and you're thinking, I don't know, what do I do? How do I do this? Uh, where's my life going? What direction do I want my life to take? Just know one thing, you are not alone. Stop prioritizing someone else instead of yourself. In your 20s, you're supposed to have fun. In your 20s, stop stressing. You know, you could be saying that 300 rand that you need to pay for spot scene, ah, it's not a big deal, it's 300 rand. Let me tell you, the more you do not pay, it'll come back and bite you in the bum. But don't justify it to yourself that, oh, I'm in my 20s, so I'm going to live my best life, YOLO, this, that, and the other, and then be with Tim, John, James, listen, uh, uh, all that. No. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. It is I, it is me, it is Jess Katleo. Welcome back to the newly Katleo Malela channel. Thank you so much for being here. As always, thank you so, so much for choosing me over and over again. I'm so glad that you guys are enjoying the videos. Thank you for even liking the videos, for reposting them. I really, really do appreciate that you do that for me because it helps get the videos a long, long way and it recommends them a lot more as well. So thank you so much. Don't forget to like the videos. Let's try to get the videos to over a thousand likes. Listen, if you haven't liked some of my videos and you're like, you know, I actually saw this, this, and I like this video, but I forgot to like, like it. Please go back and like it. Thank you. Just, just please do the, just please do the Lord's work. Thank you so much. So today's video is really, really exciting because I think this is one of the most important reasons why I have this channel, not only for the mental health and all of that, but just to be a big sister to a lot of you guys who watch me. So thank you so much for that. But I figured because I was sitting on TikTok the other day, I use TikTok to relax, trust. Okay. And I came across this, um, series or challenge or whatever they call these things about advice that you as a woman in your 30s would give to a lady in their 20s or to someone in their 20s and I thought to myself this would be really nice to do in the sense that I would love to give some advice to some of you guys who are young and you're in your 20s and you're thinking I don't know man I'm not sure about my life I'm not sure about what's going on what I should be doing next and all of that I'm here to just give you some little nuggets that might help navigate you through your 20s or help steady you a little bit so if this is something that you would like to see please Please do like the video and let's get into the first thing that I would advise. Let's get into it. Okay. Mm. 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 The girl is doing the absolute most. Okay. All right. The 20s are fun. They're great. The 20s are for you to grow and discover yourself. But the 20s also come with a lot of confusion and feelings of being lost and feelings of being, you know, like imposter syndrome. A lot of things that you do not have the answers to that often make so many of us a little bit antsy when it comes to what direction you want your life to take right the 20s are that time where you grow and you figure that out so if you are confused and you're lost right now and you're thinking i don't know what do i do how do i do this uh where's my life going what direction do i want my life to take just know one thing you are not alone it is okay to feel a lot of lost <laughs> it's okay to feel a lot of confusion it's okay to feel a lot of like a lack of sense of direction you're not sure where you want your life to go it's okay to feel imposter syndrome imposter syndrome doesn't even only last in your 20s only it happens in your 30s and in your 40s and all of that but if you find yourself so confused about your life and maybe looking at others and and seeing the perspective of their lives and what's coming across that way and thinking to yourself maybe that that's the route you need to take? No, it isn't. Your 20s are for discovering yourself, having fun, but even in the moments where there's a lot of confusion, uh, anger, feeling lost, feeling like you don't know what you're going to do next, you don't know what your next move is going to be, that is also okay. Give yourself a little bit of grace, give yourself a little bit of kindness because it's normal to feel that way, especially, especially in your 20s, okay? Stop. Do me a favor, please. 
ladies especially stop prioritizing in your 20s stop prioritizing the fact that the relationship you're in right now is the one that's meant to be you're gonna work hard on it you're gonna this this is the relationship forever and ever amen and all of that stop prioritizing someone else instead of yourself in your 20s you're supposed to have fun in your 20s stop stressing about the girl or guy that you're with and whether they're meant for you or they're not meant for you or should i should i do something else should i see someone else should i this stop 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 at this time in your 20s, you just need to have fun. That finding the girl and guy that is meant for you and all of that will come. If it's not coming at 23 and 26 and you're sitting there thinking, wow, all my friends are getting married or they're having kids and what have you and I don't, that's fine. That's really okay. Your story might be coming at a later stage in your life, but you do not have to now sabotage yourself and say, well, I'm going to try this and I'm going to be with this person and I'm going to do this when you really just don't have to. Okay, don't prioritize this relationship, this guy, girl that you're with and this is where you want to be. This is where you want to end up. Enjoy it, but don't stress over it. Not in your 20s. That's not the time. If, 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 if it's meant for you, it'll come for you. Whether it's in your 20s, whether it's in your 50s, whether it's in your 40s, it will come. But eventually, just enjoy the moment you're in. Do not stress. Prioritize yourself. If the relationship doesn't work for you, leave the relationship. There is no sense in sticking around when you know that this is just not for me. This is just not for me. Why are you sticking around? So don't prioritize the things that you shouldn't be prioritizing. Not in your 20s. You, you should be enjoying the relationship. Yes. Put some effort into it. Sure. Your relationship, you kind of go, sure. But don't stress over it and wonder that, oh my gosh, am I going to be with this person forever and not this? Nah. Take it easy. Take it easy. Take a moment. Breathe. Take it easy. Enjoy yourself. Especially in that time. Okay? Okay. Trust your gut feeling trust it lean on that thing okay if your gut feeling is saying i do not want to be friends with this person something about it just comes off incorrectly for me man something is not it's not, it's not cool something's not cool about being mates with this person something is not cool about me taking this direction for work or whatever something is not cool about me uh going to the party this party this evening trust your gut feeling if there is one thing that i can yo guys i i want to recommend that you do strictly strongly for yourself is to trust your gut feeling if it does not feel right for you in that moment don't do it if you being intimate with that person doesn't feel right for you in that moment, don't do it. Don't do it just because you feel like you want them to stick around and blah, blah, blah. And now you have to put yourself in a compromising situation all because of that. Don't do it. Don't do it. Just trust your gut feeling. If you feel like this is the route that you need to take with school, then trust your gut feeling. If you feel like this is the route you need to take with, with a relationship with a family member that is a toxic one and it's not, trust your gut feeling. It always has the best intentions for you. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Drink lots of water. Your body will thank you for it, especially in your thirties. I'm, I'm not even lying. I'm not even, I'm not even trying to say, trying to get you onto the drinking water bandwagon. Drink water, drink lots of it. You can have your cold drinks. You can have your, this, you can have your, your, your brown beverages. You know, you can have your cocktails. You can have, but in the same token, drink with water every single time even if you're out and having a, a, a grand old time with your mates and whatever have water as much as you are drinking your drink have water balance it out with water your body will thank you the next day and it will thank you in the long run just drink a lot of water guys i've been preaching the story for i don't know how long on my channel so just 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 drink it okay just drink it do not oh man do not let fear hold you back. Do not let fear of falling in love hold you back from falling in love. Do not let fear of failing hold you back 
from starting something new or trying a passion project or trying do not let the fear of not knowing whether it's right or wrong whether it will be helpful or not stop you from living the best version of yourself you have to try and shut down shut it down okay you have to try and shut down that little voice that's in your head that's talking about no you can't do it because don't doubt yourself do not let the fear of failing hold you back. And I think for so many of us, we are afraid that we will fail with certain things. We are afraid that we're not going to know how it's going to pan out. But that's the beauty of it all, right? We never really know how it's going to pan out. We never really know that, oh, me starting a YouTube channel is, is going to have me end up being a mental advocate and doing this and this. I didn't know I'd be there. I didn't know I'd end up being a life coach. But my channel was a large portion of why I chose to become one because of the interactions that I would have with people online and messages in the DMs and all of that that made me realize that man coaching might be a way to go so do not let fear hold you back don't let it hold you back from 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 being afraid that you're going to fail from being afraid that this might not be the right direction for you if it's not it'll it'll visit itself you will see it. It'll show itself. And then we start again. We try and we start again. Listen here. Winners know when to quit. Okay. Winners know when to quit. Winners quit. Okay. Because sometimes you got to quit so that you can start something new. If something is not working, you got to let it go. So you can start something new. So you can open up the doors for yourself to start something new. Whether it's with a job or studies or a relationship or anything like that. Quitting is not a bad thing. If you can see that it's not working out, quit it. Quit it so you can give yourself the opportunity to start something new. That's all I'm saying. Winners know when to quit. Winners do quit. They do. They do. Mm -hmm. Try to learn to enjoy your time alone. Okay, try to learn to enjoy your time alone. Do not try and fill quiet time or alone time with going out and being on dates all the time and constantly being with friends, planning trips with friends, doing this with friends, all of this. You will thank yourself once you start spending time alone and start enjoying your own company. Do not be afraid of quiet time. I know for so many people it becomes so daunting to be in a space where you're in quiet time and you're spending time alone because we get afraid of our thoughts, right? We get afraid of getting in that space in our thoughts where we're just like, nah, I don't want to think about this. Let me tell you. Try to enjoy your time alone. It'll help you later on in life. Later on in life, it's, you won't be living the life of your 20s where you're going to be partying all the time and always planning dates and, 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 and this with friends and girlfriends and boyfriends and constantly being in the space of others even in your 30s. That's not going to happen. It's not, I'm not even going to lie to you. It doesn't carry through all the way to your 30s, 40s, 50s. At some point, your body... Your mind is going to be like, nah, uh, I'm a, uh, I need some quiet time, man. I need some quiet time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to see my friends today. Mm -mm, nope. I need some quiet time. So once you start tapping into that part of yourself in your 20s, it gets easier once you're transitioning to the later stages of your life, your 30s, your 40s. You don't, you don't, you don't get afraid of being alone or spending time alone. It doesn't scare you. More than anything, you end up enjoying it. Whether you're an introvert or an extrovert, just start trying to spend time alone. You don't have to constantly be filling your time with being with friends and parties and dates and this and this and all of that. You don't have to. So just try to spend some time alone and see how it goes for you. you might In your 20s, if you've got bills to pay, pay them. Okay, if you are in your 20s and you got rent to pay and you got a clothing account you need to pay and you got this, pay your bills. Your credit score will thank you for it at a later stage when you want to take a loan, when you want to buy a house, when you want to buy a car, when you want to all of this. Pay your bills. If I, man, I cannot stress this even. Man, mm. you know, you could be saying, that 300 rand that you need to pay for sports in, ah, it's not a big deal, it's 300 rand. Let me tell you, the more you do not pay, it'll come back and bite you in the bum, okay? It'll come back and bite you where you don't need it to bite you, okay? So just pay your bills, especially if you're in your 20s, you're 28, you're renting, you're doing the absolute most. 
pay your bills. Just do me that favor, pay your bills. That's it, pay your bills, okay? Tables. This one is a really important one for me, and I think it should be an important one for you, especially if you're in your 20, 20s. Invest in coaches or mentors or therapists or all of that. Invest in these people. You, We carry so much of our traumas from childhood, of our traumas from relationships, friendships that didn't work out, all of that kind of thing. We carry so much of it and we, we don't realize how much it plays a huge role in how we engage with others and how we engage with other people and all of that. But when you have a coach or a therapist or a mentor, you have someone who is going to be able to help you see life from a different perspective, right? Or who will help you see that you are not defined by your traumas or your, your, your personal moments or your this, that, and the other. You're not defined by those things. So do not... Do not say you can make it and go through this uh, life thing alone when you know that you're struggling with so many things, that you're struggling with so many things that, that come from your past and your history and all of that. Invest in people. And when I say invest, just get yourself a coach if you can. Get yourself a mentor if you can. Ask people that you look up to that can you be my mentor if they can do it if they have time and they schedule to do it let that be the case you have no idea how enriching encouraging and eye-opening it is to sit and have a conversation with someone who has been through so much more than you have who will help teach you and show you a different perspective to your life or the direction in which your life is going and all of that two and three four five you have no idea how much that is so helpful for you growing your own perspective knowing what you want for yourself and knowing how you can do it for yourself going for further going forward it's everything so if you can invest in therapy we all have problems guys come on now come on now so if you can invest in therapy or some kind of counseling counseling some kind of counseling some kind of coaching mentorship invest in those things those things help so much make you a well more rounded off older version of yourself they'll come in really really handy when you get into your 30s and your 40s and so on and so forth okay not everyone you love and know will stay in your life forever sometimes people are just in your life for a season a minute a moment and that is okay we spend so much time uh, having a fear of, I don't know, I don't know, I don't want to lose this person, I love this person so much and what have you. But you don't know that maybe that person is meant to be in your life only for that season. That person is only meant to be in your life only for that time, that season, that period. And that is okay. The people who are meant to stay in your life for the whole duration of your life story will be there. Even if they were there in your 20s and they will still remain there in your 50s, then they were meant to be there. But some people are just not meant to be in your life forever. So what you can do is just cherish the moments that you have with them. Cherish the moments, the good times that you've had with those people and remember that it's okay. It's okay to not uh, have certain people in your life forever. Just live your life enjoying the having them around. And if they do go and when they are gone, just think back with, with uh, fond memories. Think back with a, with, a, with a soft and open heart and say, you know what, even though things that didn't work out between uh, that person and I, I still appreciate what they brought to my life. I still appreciate the moments that I've shared with them. So yeah, no one's gonna be in your life forever, sweetie. Not everybody is going to be in your life. <clears throat> Not everybody's going to be in your life forever, sweetie. Okay? Is you do not have to spend your 20s sleeping with all different types of people just because you're in a relationship now you're going to sleep with this person just because you're dating this person now you're going to sleep with this person if you don't want to do it don't do it if you're in a relationship and you something within something that is strong serious long term then please be my guest i'm not saying don't be intimate with people but don't justify it to yourself that oh i'm in my 20s so i'm gonna live my best life yolo this that and the other and then be with tim john james listen uh uh all that no 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 
you don't have to do all those things. You do not have to constantly be sleeping with people or changing partners and justifying it to yourself that, ah, you're in your 20s, you don't want anything serious, blah, blah, blah. You don't have to have anything serious, but even if you don't have anything serious, it doesn't mean go around sleeping with people. That's not going to be good for your energy, your mental energy, your mind, your mental health, and all of that. So if it's not necessary, don't do it. Date. Oh my gosh, date. Have fun, date, date different people, but blah, 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 all of that. But there's no need. It's not necessary to sleep with every single person that you find yourself dating or in a relationship with or whatever. It, it's not, it's not, it's not. If you're in a relationship, it's different. But you hear my chat. Okay. You have every single right. You have every single right. You have every single right to express what you want for your relationships to a partner. Okay, so if you want um, uh, uh, to get married and you want to have children, uh, if you want this kind of uh, relationship that's, that's uh, centered on love and spending time together and all of that, you communicate those things. You have absolutely every single right to communicate those things. If that's what matters to you, that is what you communicate from the onset. And if that person doesn't understand or they respond like, ah, oh, man, we're too young. I'm not even thinking about marriage, man. I'm not interested in marriage. Let them go. You can find someone who is in their 20s who has similar core values and beliefs that you have when it comes to relationships. But do not uh, uh, silence yourself just because you're in a relationship, you finally got into a relationship with a guy that you really like and this, that and the other, and now you're going to silence yourself and silence yourself for the sake of keeping them or keeping the partner but then the relationship is vastly different from what you want and what you believe a relationship should look like. No, no ma'am. Catch me several streets outside, okay? No ma'am. Express yourself, express your beliefs and your values for what, what, when it comes to relationships and what you want for yourself when it comes to relationships. And if they don't get it, and if they disagree with you, Matorokis, hak freistat, hak freistat. Okay, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a lovely one for me to make. It's a serious one. So it wasn't laughy laughy and all of that. But it's really, really important for me to make content like this for you guys. And if you did enjoy the video, uh, please like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Let's try and get the video to over a thousand likes. Thank you as always for choosing me over and over again. I am going to go now. I hope you are having a great day or evening, wherever you are. Take it easy. Be kind to yourself. And I'll see you in the next video. Until then, sayonara.